So OpenAI just dropped their official guide to prompting Sora 2. Here's what you need to know if you wanna get the best results from this model. First up is think like a director, not a prompt engineer. Don't just describe what happens, describe how it's filmed. You need to mention the camera angle, the lens, the lighting, and even the mood. Lighting and color are everything. So you wanna be able to set the tone using lighting cues like soft window light or a warm fill or a cool edge from the hallway and name three to five colors to keep your color palette of the image or video that you're generating roughly consistent. The other tip is to control the shot and the framing, add direction like wide shot, eye level, or medium close up, slight angle from behind. You can even define the lens type or the camera movement like handheld, slow tilt, or even a cinematic look. Also use image inputs. You can feed an image into Sora 2 and, and that will act as a reference that the model can use. That may help with locking in the composition, the lighting, and character design while your text defines what happens next. Go ultra detailed for realism. If you want a film grade look, describe the camera gear, the lens filters, color grading, and time of day, just like if you were briefing a virtual effects team. And last, iterate and balance detail. Too little detail equals random results. Too much equals a stiff output. You should treat your prompt like a director's wish list and always try to experiment and refine. So as you can see, prompting Sora 2 is a lot like directing a scene and you should aim to treat the model like it's your cinematographer and you'll likely start getting clips that look amazing and look like they're just out of a movie. Now, if you wanna learn more about AI, then make sure to fall for more.